But I believe that the word that God has put in my heart is so vital and so important that I cannot send you home yet or to your hotel rooms yet. I need your, your full attention for just in the, in, the, in the next 15, 20 minutes. We have to be out of here by one for sure. And I will be done way before that. Way before that. Because I want to just say a few things, really. I didn't come to preach a, a full message. I just need to say a few things to you. Because the important hour that we are in demands that I share this with you. We are coming into the greatest season for the church, no doubt. But very dangerous days for those who will live worldly, who will not take the commandments of the Lord seriously. For he said, take up your cross this coming year, I believe we're going to see a number of things. And the th thing that I'm concerned about most is what is going to happen to the church in America when persecution begins here? Because it could begin this year. And I don't want you to miss what I have to say. This is not easy to talk about. Not at all. Not for me. Where's the dear brother from China? He's, he's in the back. Yeah. Get him, please. Today, the greatest move of God is happening. In those nations that are suffering for the Lord. I just read and I follow very closely. I talk to uh, David Curry quite often. David Curry leads the ministry called Open Doors. He lives in California. He and I have become friends. And he told me something not long ago, that shook me to the core. 279 million Christians are under persecution. China, bless you, brother, God bless you. His country, they're destroying churches. Persecution now is heavy in China. Now here's what I feel in my soul. And I've been feeling it, especially the last few days. And I want you to pray that God will do this one thing. What's, hap what's happening now inside Iran may very well be the beginning of the downfall of the present regime. I've been feeling it for the last week. Now, I don't know how long before revival, true revival, there's no doubt, is coming to Iran. I am here to declare under the anointing the present regime will collapse and the church in Iran will be free to hear the gospel and I don't know I
I don't know if I will be alive to see it. But I know some of you young people are going to preach the gospel in Tehran, Iran. I know it. Prepare yourselves to preach the gospel. Today, the greatest move of God in the Muslim world is happening inside Iran. Any here from Iran? Anybody here from Iran? Where? Where are you? Come here, come here. Anyone from Iran, come here quickly. I want to talk to you. Come, run, 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 come. Do you know that the greatest move of God is happening inside your country right now? I just read and I heard from David Curry and others that the greatest move of God is happening today in Iran. The largest church in the Muslim world today is in Iran. I made a mistake years ago when I lived here in Orlando. I got up and I said publicly that there's no move of God in Iran. I said that in the 80s, how wrong I was. I happened to be in Melbourne, in Melbourne, Australia. And the head of the church in Iran came to see me. He said, Pastor Benny, I came all the way from Iran to tell you, you are wrong. As I said, no move of God in Iran. He came and said, I came all the way to tell you, you are wrong. He said, I am the head of all the churches in Iran. He said, they just killed my brother. He was the head of the Pentecostal movement inside Iran. And he came to tell me, you're wrong. Don't say it again. I said, never again will I say those words. And now I'm hearing your country is, is experiencing uh, protests hundreds and hundreds in the thousands of people are rioting the streets and I'm hearing something remarkable that the greatest move of God today is in Iran is with women <laughs> women did you know that so I'm going to ask you girl to pray for the women of Iran sit down here before you fall down <laughs> you promise to pray for the women of Iran and you pray for the men and the women sure. you go sit down I, I pray for you later go sit down <laughs> <laughs> but I must talk to you about this because these are happening now I can't let you go home without asking you begging you to pray for Iran and pray for China. When I was in China, m many people don't know this. I was invited by the government of China. I was one of few. Pat Robertson, Paul Crouch, and myself, the only three were invited. And they wanted to convince us that they had freedom. They took me to the Bible press in Nanjing, you know. I was honored in the people's hall for dinner. They told me, nobody comes here. But we have you here. But what they wanted from me is to put it on, on TV that there is liberty in China. And I told the religious affairs minister, I said, will you have me preach in your country? In a stadium? He said, no. I said, then you have no liberty. He said, you can come to our church. The church will have you. So no, can I be in the stadium? The stadium. No. I said, then how can you say you have liberty? But the day will come. I may not see it. I pray I will. Stadiums will be packed in China. 
I want you to give the Lord the biggest shout you can. Come on. Take your seats. And I believe people like Nathan Morris and Ben and Danny and Michael and possibly your own children will preach the gospel in China. Because we're praying and believing God is going to happen. But how can we see revival in these nations if we are not heavenly people? I want you to say something that may be difficult now for you. Say, I am not a citizen of the United States. I am not a citizen of China or Brazil. I am a citizen of heaven. Amen. Amen. Can you say that again? Lift your hands and say, I am a citizen of heaven. Say it again. So the Bible says we are strangers. To the strangers, Peter wrote. Not to the citizens of present day Turkey, which was then not called Turkey. To the strangers. Why? Because we are a heavenly people with a heavenly calling. Our salvation is our heavenly calling. Now, since we are a heavenly people, why are we so connected to earthly matters? Why are people so connected to earthly things like politics and other things? So tonight I ask you in the name of Jesus, be free from earthly things. And so in Colossians 3 it says, set your affections on things above, not the things of the earth. That's the key to victory in your life. Victory over sin. Victory over demon power. As long as you're connected to earthly things, you give the devil access into your life, into your mind, into your affairs. We are not an earthly people. For Jesus, our wonderful Savior, said, You are in this world, not of this world. So it says in the scriptures, Look up. Well, how, how can you look up unless you are connected to heaven? Look up. Now, because we're heavenly, Let's not be connected, ladies and gentlemen, to a planet that's about to burn up. This earth is about to burn up with fervent heat. So we read in Peter, seeing what is coming, seeing those things that are about to happen on the planet. He asks us to do three things. Don't forget, planet Earth at one time was destroyed by a flood. It will be destroyed again by fire. So when you read the scriptures, it says seeing these things that you know are coming. Don't be so connected to the planet, to the Earth, to the matters of men, humanity. And other things. I'm going to ask you to do something you've never done in your life possibly. I've done it. If you come to my home today, you'll never see my TV on. There's no news, no shows allowed in my home. 
because I don't want the world in my bedroom. I don't want the world in my living room. Yes, it's important to know what's happening, but you don't have to be watching it. The influence is evil. It's evil. And the Lord was so specific with me almost three years ago about this. To cancel certain services like that come through TV. I'm sitting watching and the Lord said, cancel Netflix now. I was shocked. I didn't know why he said that to me. He said, cancel it now. I called the man, Lance, who works with us. I said, Lance, come now. I don't know how you're going to do this, but cancel this now. Because I heard it from, from the Lord. And look at the evil now they're presenting. It's a difficult thing to ask you to do. Don't let the world in anymore. And the people said, yeah. It's time to be free from the influence. How can we be heavenly and our minds earthly? So the Lord has been dealing with me on other things, but I'm not free to share every one of them. It's not necessary. What God is asking me, he may not be asking you, but I'll tell you, he will. There, there, there certain things he will ask of you. You know, I look at this man. He came up to me here and gave me a hug I felt a surge of power touch me when that man gave me that hug I thought I would be electrocuted <laughs> I want what you have more than I've ever wanted anything in my life you know I think he walks in that heavenly realm and you sense it with him just looking at his eyes Everything about him is heaven. We need what this man has. But how can we receive what is of heaven if we are so connected to this world? So, three things and then I'm done. Number one, if you read the scriptures in Peter, it says, as you see these things, live holy. And then it says something else. Not only are you to be holy in all conversation of life and matters of life, but you are to come out from that worldly influence and live righteously. But there's something else I want to focus on. And this I'm going to tell Danny Claudio, Michael, you gentlemen. Every soul that is saved brings the Lord closer. The Lord knows them who are his. So we must be active to bring the day nearer. So he said to us, number one, be holy. But here's the second thing he said to us. Looking unto the coming of the Lord. So number one, we are a, a holy people. We live a holy life. Don't, don't let the influence get in there of the world. But if you read the next verse in that blessed portion in Peter, he says, looking unto. Looking unto means what? Looking unto the coming of the Lord our vision changes guys the minute we disconnect from the world our vision changes and we're no longer looking to the things of earth we're looking unto the coming of the Lord and thirdly we hasten his coming when we hasten his coming we bring the day closer meaning we are active we're preaching the gospel. We're doing the things God has called us to do. And so now, Danny, 
when you go to Africa, you are going to see probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest moves of the Spirit beginning now. No doubt in my heart anyways. About Africa, especially, and other parts of the world. But Africa right now, God is doing something mighty inside that continent. So get ready to, 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 to see an increase of souls. If you had 100,000, you're going to have probably half a million people show up. And then it's going to up to a million people. Because the hour is so important we're living in. The miracles you're seeing in your meetings, Ben, are about to multiply. I know it in my guts, in my being. Same with Nathan. Same with Michael. And you in the ministry. So please, do three things. And then I'm done. So, gently. Disconnect from the world. You don't belong here. You're a heavenly people, not an earthly people. Your citizenship is in heaven. Three things. Live holy. Don't let the world into your life ever again. Two. Looking on to. Let your vision now become heavenly. And be obedient to that vision like Paul said. I was obedient to that vision. Yeah. And thirdly. Be active. Preach the gospel. Now lift your hands and. Thank him for what's coming your way. Pray in the spirit, all of you. Ben, would you come? Nathan, would you come? And would you, uh, I'm going to give you the microphone, Ben. And I want you, both of you, to start praying with all fervency in the Holy Ghost. C can I have another microphone from somewhere quickly, please? Kurt? I want you to pray with fervency for the people. Give him the mic there. Yes, Lord. Pour your spirit out upon us Come on, now. pray, all of Pour you. Pour your spirit upon I'm us, I'm going to give you the microphone now, Nathan. Baptize us again in the Holy Spirit. And Father, we ask you for the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead to come upon every person. Give us the ability to say yes to you when you say, put this down and follow me. We pray for the fire of God to come upon our heart, to burn inside of us all of the things that are that are a hindrance against your presence jesus come holy spirit father we pray that you would mark us take hold of us god help us to forsake and divorce the small compromises holy spirit come with your glory fill us with your glory fill us with your glory jesus Yahodem na kasho breba ko kata Yehoda ba shabra be kuda baba Jesus you are worthy of the whole temple you are worthy of the whole temple you are worthy of the whole temple pour your fire on every inch of every person's spirit soul and body in the name of Jesus Spirit of God, we ask right now, Lord, that you would raise up the cry, the cry of your heart that will be released to the nations of the world. That, Father, the gospel shall be preached to the ends of the earth. So, Lord, we are asking, we are crying right now that you would release that harvest, Lord, across Asia, across Africa, across Europe, that Europe shall see a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Father, we speak right now across Asia that Asia would be awakened by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Lord, there would be that end time harvest. Lord, we cry out for America, for South America, for Central America. Oh God, pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Lord, I pray even in this room right now that you would raise up evangelists, harvesters that will go out to the fields of the nations that they would call forth the harvest for the kingdom of God. Lord, we cry out right now that holy fire would fall in this room. Lord, holy fire fall now in Jesus.
Jesus it's with the person that's next to you right now and just begin to pray for them like you want them to pray for you Lord we pray your fire would fall upon your people in this year of 2020 Lord we give you these first moments we give you these first hours and Lord, we thank you that this year belongs to you for your harvest, for your kingdom, for the gospel. We give you all that we are. We give you all that we have. We say, Lord, take us, mold us, use us for your glory in the name of Jesus. So reba, so Keep praying, keep praying, people. Dear brother, come here. You pray, you pray. In Chinese, you pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Resurrected Jesus. We have our brothers and sisters here, and they will be like the disciples that encounter you on their way to a city. And you gave them bread, you gave things, and their eyes were open. And here we declare that our eyes are open to see you. Because of our communion with you, our eyes are open and we will see the resurrected Jesus. Holy Spirit, lead us. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. We have a Lord that is the resurrected Jesus. But when our brother Ben Li Xin was talking about the name of Jesus, I suddenly thought that when Jesus Christ was resurrected, the first thing he did was to come to the Emmaus Church gathering and have a meeting with the resurrected Jesus. When our spirit of Father Benny he was sharing about communion, what came to my mind was that after Jesus resurrected, the first thing that he wanted to do was to have a meal and and break the bread and give thanks about the grain and have communion with with his people. <laughs> Many times we are facing problems and trials in our lives and we cannot see clearly. But 2020 is the year of vision. We are going to see Jesus and his vision for us, his vision for this world. Jesus, you don't leave us alone. We are going to come to the peace of the world. We are citizens from heaven. We are You, listen, listen, we need to close this. Michael, Jesse, get up here quick. I want you on your knees praying. Please, right here. Come on, quick, quick. Come on, come on, guys. Get on your knees and pray, all of you. Get, get on your knees and pray. Don't come that close. Don't come that close. Give us some space down here. But start praying out loud in the spirit. Come on. I mean, lift your voices and pray. You pray. You lead them in prayer. You pray. You pray. Don't worry about English now. You just pray. No, here. You take my mic and you pray. Hallelujah. God, pour out your Holy Spirit on us. We we 
复活的耶稣，垂死里复活的耶稣。You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. You are in the kingdom come. You are in the dream. Through your blood, through your sacrifice, open up our eyes. Let us be able to see the resurrection, the resurrection, the resurrection again. We are leaving behind the disappointment. We are leaving behind the pain. We are leaving behind everything because we have you. You say it's a shame. What is the past? It's a shame. Run, run. Leave the dead. Let us return to you. God, we declare that your purpose. On the brothers and, and the lives of our brothers and sisters is coming back. They're coming back and awakening to their own purposes. You know, we're going to have a great meeting. 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 Please declare this with me. Say this with me. Twenty twenty. Increase revival. Increase revival. The resurrection power. The resurrection power. Yao chong man zai wo men zhong tian. Is filling us. 主耶稣，你不但能够给我们有师徒的恩膏，有先知的恩膏，有神迹奇事，随着每一位。Jesus, thank you because you are increasing the anointing, the apostolic anointing, the prophetic anointing, and signs and miracles will follow us because we follow you. 复活的耶稣，你把那个给那个不用看身上那个恩膏。哥佩利那个恩膏，给那个百里身身上那个恩膏，加倍加倍的给这个时代每一个跪在你面前的人。God, thank you because those peoples belong to you, and they have open hearts to receive the anointing of Rehan Banki and Billy Graham and Benny Hinn. Thank you, Jesus, because you are increasing this anointing over us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 让我们每一个人都能够成为这个时代的复兴布道家。We are revivalists of this generation, and we are going after souls and souls and more souls, and they're coming home. We are going after souls and souls and more souls, and they're coming home. We are going after souls and souls and more souls, and they're coming home. We are going after souls and souls and more souls, and they're coming home. 我们奉耶稣的名宣告，穆斯林国家要得救，认识耶稣基督是主。In the name of Jesus, we declare that all the Muslim countries will know you, God. 上帝的国要如今在印度教、印度地区的国家，印度教国家要得救，看见耶稣基督的荣耀，好像水充满海洋。All the countries that are believing in Hinduism, they will see God, and they will see the kingdom of heaven filling their whole country. 主耶稣，你要使用这一群人，要进入到中国无神论的国家，要进入到非洲，也要进入到佛教地区。佛教地区要得救。God, thank you because you are commissioning us. You are commissioning us to go. We are going to Middle East. We are going to Africa. We are going to the countries with Buddhism, Hinduism, atheism, where there's indifference. God, you have us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 我祷告一句，你跟我祷告一句。主耶稣，我愿你的国降临在这地。Please declare this with me. Jesus Christ, your kingdom come. 愿你的国行在这个国家，行在白宫，如同行在天上。Your will be done on the White House as it is in heaven. 
，愿你的国降临在我个人的心中，我愿意顺服你的呼召。May your kingdom come to my heart. I, I surrender to your word. 我奉耶稣的名祝福贝利辛，祝福在这里的每一位布道家。你们幕后的荣耀要大过先前的荣耀。In the name of Jesus, I bless the revivalists, Benny Hinn, and many, many other revivalists. That is all of you. We are going from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 现在我要奉耶稣的名呼召你们一同站起来。Now please stand up with me. 一同站起来，举起你的双手，对主说：“我已经决定要跟从耶稣，永不回头。” Lift up your hand and say, "I have decided to follow Jesus. I'm not turning back." I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. 主耶稣，你要差遣这里的每一位被圣灵呼召，要把天国带进到中东，要把天国带进到非洲。Jesus, you commissioned us to go to Middle East, to go to the countries that they don't have you yet, and we will go, and your kingdom will come. 二零二零年，我会看到有一些人，上帝已经呼召把这把钥匙给到你，你将要去到穆斯林国家，要传福音，要建立神的教会。Twenty twenty, Jesus is giving you keys. To enter and open the doors that nobody can shut, and you are going to the Muslim countries, and you will see heaven invade earth. 谁要把这个权柄给你，你要去释放那些被宗教捆绑、被不冷不热的灵所捆绑的人，带到自由。God is clothing you with power to break off every chain, all the religious spirit, all the indifferent attitudes. You're going to burn, and your burning for God is contagious. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Baby. Oh, wasn't this an awesome night? Yes. So, okay. I felt it'd be fitting. Well, first of all, we'll be back. We're gonna let you guys sleep in tomorrow morning. Thank you, Jesus. So we're gonna be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock for impartation. Well, it's impartation night, so you don't want to miss one session tomorrow, okay? But I want Georgian and the team to lead us off. Good night. Unending songs, how you set my soul. Come on, and I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. I could sing, come on, oh I could sing unending songs, how you set my soul. I could dance, and I could dance a thousand.